What's up guys, today we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different. We're gonna be taking something like this and this and turning it into this. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. So here's my design idea. It's actually really straightforward. I saw all sorts of cool designs where you could have like chevron patterns and like squares and whatnot. But even though I really wanted to do something like that, especially the chevron, I think that was my favorite, there are two main reasons why we decided against it. One, we're going for simplicity here. And so for the ease of my woodworking experience, we're going basic, straightforward. And then and two, we really like the idea of having a shelf in there. Like here, let me show you. So basically, you're looking at our table right here, minus it's the wrong size, and we're obviously gonna eliminate all these gaps. But this will be the front of the table, which has this cool kind of font on it, which I really like. And then the sides are gonna have these little gaps in it, which are perfect for shelves, specifically my laptop, which is always on the dining room table because that's my office. If I could take the table off the top and boop, slide underneath here when we need the table for homework or eating or anything, that'd be so convenient. And if I did any sort of pattern that would eliminate the possibility of doing that because I would need a stringer running down the side here so I could screw all the wood in on the side but with the straight slats like this I can leave these sides open and have a shelf so that's our idea that's what we're gonna do but now I need to cut it down to size get it all nailed back together in the right shape and form sand it down paint it etc a lot to do we're trying to get this done today so let's bust it out The tough part about this is I'm trying to remove these pieces of wood without destroying them. If I just wanted to rip them off, I could take them off really quick, really easy with the crowbar, but I'm trying to gently remove them to keep them from splitting and getting any worse than they are because this is gonna be our work surface where we're gonna be eating, doing homework and all that. So I'm trying to keep it as clean and smooth as possible. Which is proving difficult. One of the downsides about working with old reclaimed wood like this is you have all sorts of these guys right here. Nails that are super rusty. So in order to use it, you gotta be careful not to poke yourself. And if you do, make sure you have your tetanus shot. Uh, but we obviously gotta remove all these old nails before we can reassemble it with some nice shiny new nail gun nails. So I guess we have to do that now. <laughs> Actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So we've now got eight decent boards and I think I have three of the big boards to go. All right, guys, there is the start to the table. I like it so far. I think it's gonna look amazing. I've never really been a woodworker or like uh, do things with my hands kind of guy. I mean, I get things done and I've done basic things, but I've never had to build something like this. And I'm actually gotta say, I'm really enjoying getting getting my hands dirty, coming up with solutions and ideas, trying to be creative with it. I think it's super cool. So, might be something I start doing in the future. Can you guys picture it yet? You guys envisioning it? By the way, I really love the old font on there. That's my graphic design background coming out in me.
So originally I was hoping I was going to be able to have a solid layer of the 1x2s both on the top and the bottom so it looked almost exactly like a palette. But after starting to put that together it was getting really heavy and I'm trying to keep it as light as possible. So what I've decided to do is I found this really thin half inch piece of plywood out in the scrap pile and I think it'll be perfect size to cut just to fit this back half which is all I really need. So I have one pocket to slide the computer in and the front unfortunately will just be open. Maybe I'll find a solution to that in the future or maybe I can make like a half thing out of it. I'm not sure 100% but I think that'll cut down by at least a few pounds which is quite a bit when you're talking about a tabletop. I have officially finished the construction portion. Watch out Goose, let them see what it looks. So there it is. I kept the original uh, stencil like I talked about earlier. I have recruited Goose to help me out with the next step. She is going to help me paint the uh, top layer and mom is gonna help too. Cause we're gonna paint it and then we're gonna sand it off or roughen it up to try and look more of that, you know, rustic-y palette board thing. But we want it to be painted white to kind of match the color scheme. Because if you remember right behind the table, we have that wallpaper that is like the white wood shiplap kind of look. So we're trying to tie this into that by having it kind of whitewashed. So I just finished sanding it to try and smooth it out because as you can see, some of this wood is crazy rough. So I tried to smooth it out while keep retaining some of the original texture. And now we've got to do some painting. Goose has been asking to help paint the entire time we're doing the trailer. And inside, not gonna lie, we weren't really uh, excited about her painting because there's a lot of details and things she can get dirty. But out here, she's gonna do some painting. <laughs> side of the cupboard and we're just making it our own we're just kind of making it a family table but since we want the top to kind of look nice and not you know played on with by kids this is this is the other part of it all right who's up first, right, have to go see. first. maverick or goose goose you going goose. first goose is going first because she wants to put hers on this side she wants to do her hand like that okay <laughs> Never do this without our permission. Not do this unless a parent Oh, pink! There it goes. Mav, what are we doing? What are we doing, love? She's like, I don't know, but you get mad when I do that with my food. Alright, ready? There we go. Perfect. And just push all the fingers. I got it, I got it. Okay. Up. Okay, we need the thumb a little bit more, but that's pretty good. There's Daddy and Goose. Good job. Yay! Yay! <laughs> little chubby handprint because it slid all around. But you did it. Good Yay! job, man. Good job. <laughs> I can't get Where's the napkin? I'm gonna have the chubby thumb. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, looks good, Mom. Yes, yes. It's like a My kindergarten dad. room. <laughs> Doesn't that what it reminds you of? It's like a kid at preschool? Yeah. There it is, guys. The final product. Wood pallet bench. Complete with compartment for storage. 24 hours, you guys. From the thought that I had to putting it together, it took him 24 hours. I was super impressed and so excited. Like, it's just so pretty. Like, look at this thing. If you guys wanna see our full tour video where we show off all of the projects that we worked on from our bookshelf staircase to the table to the painting and the sanding and the solar setup, you guys can check out our RV tour video right there. I'll also link up our electrical upgrade video in case you're interested in all of these RV upgrades. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, remember, stay positive. Get out there, life is an adventure. So make some memories.